Here we are on the final week of our Black History Month coverage. We get the pleasure of learning about a Bangor native who was eager to become a teacher since she was a little girl. She was a first in many ways and wanted to make her mark on the world of education. Here's the first black Mainer who attained a degree from the University of Maine and taught right here in her hometown of Bangor. I swore when I taught that no one would struggle like I did. Nancy Diamond grew up right here in the Queen City. Her grandfather was the first to plant her family's roots in the Pine Tree State. His father came to Maine from Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada, and he came to work um, in the woods, as a lot of people did back in those days. It was 1896. And then in 1901, my grandmother came over, and they were married here in Bangor, and raised their 10 children on 4th Street. She and her two siblings graduated from Bangor High School. She traveled and lived in Boston for eight years until she had to come back home. My mom passed away and I ended up a year after that moving back home and never thought I would be here this long. That was in 1990, so I've been back a long time. But. Um, yeah, I made a life for myself here. The hard work and perseverance instilled in her from her family drove Nancy to start a new chapter. So I decided it was time to go back to school, finish my degree. And so in December of 97, I graduated with an BS degree in elementary education. And without knowing, she made history. I was the first black native Mainer to graduate from a University of Maine system school and teach in Maine. Nancy had no words when she had discovered what she accomplished, and it was through the story of a black educator who studied at UMaine but struggled along the way, all because of who he was. I was surprised. I mean, I had no idea. Um, that information came about from an article in the UMaine alumni magazine, and I believe it was in 2001. As Nancy reflected on this moment, she couldn't help but think about other educators who paved the way for her. We met a lot of black people who have received education degrees from the University of Maine and um, a couple of local people, Johnny Ertha, who grew up in Holton, and then, of course, um, Burl Warner Williams. Seeing these individuals break down countless barriers, she eventually did the same. I always wanted to be a teacher. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a teacher. So it uh, took me a while to get there, but I got there. <laughs> yeah. And Yes, that's so that's Nancy Diamond, a beautiful person inside and out. Later on TV5 News, we'll learn more about her journey in education from start to finish and why the phrase knowledge is power led her to accomplishing the unthinkable. Back to you.